What's up everybody, it's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I want to show you six notification center tricks and tips you should try out today on your Mac. So the first one's the simplest and quickest one, and it's how to enable do not disturb mode even faster without needing to go into your preferences. All you have to do is bring up the notification center and just scroll down to view the hidden toggle for do not disturb mode. Now if you want to do it even faster, you can hold down the command key on your keyboard while clicking the icon for the notification center. You'll notice that it changes to a shade of gray. You open it up and you can see do not disturb mode is toggled on. Next trick we're going over is how to create your own custom notifications. To begin, we're going to install some software by using this following command. Hit enter, you'll wait a few seconds. You might have to enter your password, your login password to your Mac. And just wait a second, and you'll see that the process finishes fairly quickly. Once that's done, we can start creating our notifications using this following command. And all the commands I'm going to be using, you can check out in the guide at gadgethacks.com. You can just copy and paste them. Now, at the end of this particular command, you'll see some quotes, which is what's going to show up our message or our notification. So I can go ahead and delete this and for whatever I want, just make sure that I place it within the quotes. Hit enter, and you'll see the notification come through with whatever message you input. This is useful because it'll hang around in your notification drawer or shade as a little reminder if you want to use it that way instead of pasting countless little sticky notes all around your computer. Of the next tip we're going to go over, it will take advantage of the continuity feature introduced on OSX Yosemite. So if you have that, check this out because you can make calls directly from your notification center using this little notification center widget called Continuity Keypad. All you have to do is download it, then you'll have the widget available so you can add it. Now as you see, you also have that and I should also tell you that it has been updated simply called Keypad now and it will cost you 99 cents. But if you're gonna be making calls on your Mac, it's definitely useful because you can just do it directly from your notification center. If you like these banner alerts that you get but feel that they are a little too quick and disappear before you have time to check them out, then I'm gonna show you a command that you can enter that will let you adjust the seconds or the time that they remain on your screen. All we're gonna do is use this command. I'm gonna enter right here, and if you take a look at the end, right here are these seconds. You can adjust it to whatever seconds you want. Right now it's just 30 seconds. You can change it to 60 if you want them to hang out for a minute or longer than that. So let's just go ahead and hit enter. And then now it'll be applied and I'll stay for 30 seconds. So let's enter notification. Let's just use the one that we just used. Let me use this. And you'll notice that it lingers on my screen for much longer than I think the average is five seconds. Giving you enough time, you check it out before it disappears. This next tip is for all of you who love using Spotify and wish there was another similar widget just like the iTunes one that you can use to conveniently skip and pause tracks and even adjust the volume. All you have to do is check out this guide and download the widget, which is called Spotify for me. All you have to do is add it, we'll launch the app, add it, and just hit done. You can then just change tracks. And if you look at Spotify, my tracks are changing. I can pause, I can play, I can even raise the volume. And it may act buggy sometimes, but I can also get the album art when it decides to work. So check out the guide for that download link. Finally, the last tip. I know this was a guide about the notification center, but if you don't like your notification center and want to get rid of it, disable it, then all you're going to do is enter this command. Using this, you won't be able to click the notification center icon and bring it up and you won't get notifications. Just hit enter and it should work right away. As you can see I can't even open it. Now there are guides that show how to get rid of the icon as well, but I read enough complaints about trying to get it back that I decided to leave that out. But that's basically it. Those are the six tips. If you want to check out the guide, I suggest you do so for one of three reasons or any of these three reasons. First, copying and pasting the command is a lot easier than following this video sometimes. Also, you'll find out the commands to revert any of the changes we executed using these commands. 
thirdly, you can get the download links for any of the applications I use. So definitely check out that over at gadgethack.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful gadget hack videos. Thanks, guys. Yeah.